Hey, hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. I hope you like my new clothes. And I got my inventory full of fishing bugs to show blathers. And I did a lot during the Twitch stream I did, which got me catching these bugs. I paid off my tent loan, got my house upgraded, and it's raining outside, which it's awesome looking out the window and doing that. But wait, there are curtains. Can I actually... I can close the curtains! I did not know that! That is such a cool touch! Alright, but let's get out there. Let's go meet Blathers. Well, the thing is, I already met Blathers, and he gave me new recipes for a vaulting pole, and a shovel as well, which really surprised me. So now I can go to the other islands. The reason why it wasn't recorded is because my hard drive had an issue. I was recording it, but then my hard drive, like, well, or like I don't know what happened, but it just died for that moment. Like, the recording was gone. Good thing I didn't record too much, but I got to meet Blathers, and that's basically it. I didn't donate anything yet, but I will do that right now. It was a bit unfortunate, but no worries. Hopefully my hard drive does not do that again. I'm really hoping so. It was really unfortunate, but I really love how Blathers looks. I love his place. It's so small and cozy. He also told me if I donate 15 specimens, then we'll get an actual museum. And I have more than enough. Ooh, why this is a squid. Now I might interest you in a few fascinating facts about your squid. Please tell me. Wonderful, I will love nothing more. Well, first off, squids are members of the mollusk family, just like the octopus. Many mollusks like snails and clams have shells, but the squid's body is almost completely soft. The exception is a long, narrow bit of hard material going through its main body, the last remnant of its shell. Of course, having your shell inside is not a best practice. Perhaps they lost the owner's manual. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bravo and thank you, once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. I love Blathers. He's such a goofy, like a goofy goofball. I love having him here. Having Blathers here is just a treat. And I love his little bow tie. And I love his cheeks. And now let's learn about the Pale Chub. Wonderful, I will love nothing more. The Pale Chub is a river fish with simple black and silver coloring. Interestingly, the male's coloring becomes most vibrant when he's trying to attract a mate. I almost thought he said male, like a male going for another male. Nothing wrong with that. Though so normally playing, these fellows really know how to look stylish when they want to. Perhaps I can learn a thing or two from the pale chum. <laughs> Aww. I hope Blathers does meet his special someone someday. He is just way too dapper to not have anybody. Alright, let's see, what next? Let's go with the horse mackerel. Is it really horse? Mackerel? Let's go find out. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Supposedly the horse mackerel derives its name from a false myth about its strength as a swimmer. The gist of it is that these fish are so powerful underwater that smaller fish can ride them as steeds. Fish riding other fish. It's absurd, of course. Where would these alleged fish jockeys attach a saddle, much less horseshoes? One does wish that people would construct their legends with a bit more scientific plausibility. Humans are crazy. Not you, though. You're all right. You're the one bringing me stuff, so you're not crazy. But wait, what if I was the one that caused the myth? I was the one that said, hey, fish can ride other fish. And Blathers is like, hey, what, what? And then he just slaps me with his wing. All right, Crucian Carp. I wonder, do you know how to tell the difference between a Crucian Carp and a standard issue carp? It's quite easy to tell the two apart. One must simply locate the barbels, or rather the lack of them. And just what is a barbel, you ask? Well, a barbel looks like a mustache. A one of the milk carp will sport this unsightly facial hair, while a crucian carp is considerably better groomed. I tried to grow a mustache when I was younger. It never did feel quite right. Aww. I'm sorry, Blathers, but seeing an owl with a mustache, that is something I want to see. All for the best in the end, as mustaches go so much better with noses than with beaks. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? But wait, if I have a mustache, I do have facial hair. 
Am I a carp? Or crucian carp? Wait, am I a fish? Anyway, let's go with the sturgeon. This big old sturgeon. Ooh, this is undoubtedly a sturgeon. But please, tell me about the sturgeon. That was one of the big fish I caught. Alright, the sturgeon is a large and long-lived river fish, which has changed little in the last 300 million years. One curious behavior of theirs is leaping high out of the water and falling back in on their sides. The smacking sound of their re-entry can be heard for up to half a mile away, likely more in the water. No one knows why they do it, but I like to think it's their impression of bread popping out of a toaster. <laughs> <laughs> that is cute! I don't know where Blathers gets this, but that's great. Oh, that's the fish coming out. Why does it sound like a toaster? Alright, next up, the sea butterfly. The alien-looking fish. It's a weird one, though. Please tell me. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Such mystery, such grace, such beautiful face. Wait. Did you know that the sea butterfly's scientific name is Dikosomata? Dikosomata? A very rough translation of that is shell body. Indeed, this is illustrious, illustrious creature is related to snails. However, it reminds me much more of an elegant feathered friend, the way it flies through the water. With such grace and flying, one shouldn't wonder if it's related to the owl. <laughs> Ah, a hermit crab! Oh, the, the fear of the fear of bugs. The horror, the repugnance. Good heavens, I must maintain my composure. Mm, I beg your pardon, bugs. I do detest them. Still, there's much I can tell you about the insect you apprehended. If you insist, that is. Aww. I see. In that case, mm -mm. the hermit crab is not an insect, though it most certainly resembles one. Black. It looks much like a spider, well with its creepy eyes and crawly legs, but is in fact a crustacean. As such, the hermit crab has ten legs and also wears a shell. But it doesn't grow the shell itself. It slips its soft body into shells left behind by snails, you see, and moves into ever larger ones as it grows. Talk about a strange way to make a home. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Ah. I just love that Blathers loves his job, that he's like, My fear of bugs, my fear of bugs, what is it, my fear of bugs or the job? Oh, what about the tarantula? My goodness, when I, when I streamed, I got attacked by three. This was one of them that I caught. There were four bugs, three caught me, one I caught. The tarantula, what a wretched thing! Alas, I am obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about this specimen? Please? I see, in that case, mm-mm. As giant spiders go, the tarantula is said to be quite docile, but have you ever seen such foul fuzziness? It is a fact, tarantulas have barbed belly hair. I say again, barbed belly hair. Well, stop looking at its belly. No! These awful arachnids let loose their spiky, itchy hairs to protect themselves from predators. But seeing how tarantulas also prey on frogs, mice, and even birds, one must ask, who needs protecting from whom? Ooh, ooh, indeed. All right, you can have that giant fuzzy spider right there. All right, let's go. We got more donations. I'm pretty sure once we're done, that museum is gonna be on its way. Here you go, a bitter fish. Is it really bitter or not? Wonderful, I will love nothing more. Bitterlings hide their eggs inside large, large bivalves like clams, where the young can stay safe until grown. The bitterling isn't being sneaky. No, their young help keep the bivalve healthy by eating invading parasites. It's a wonderful bit of evolutionary deal-making, don't you think? Each one keeping the other safe. Though eating parasites does not sound like a happy childhood. Is that why the fish are so bitter? Mmm, delicious parasites. The yellow perch is certainly worth squawking about. I find it a sight to behold. That jagged dorsal fin, those brilliant stripes, those glorious colors. Who truly, it is quite the specimen. I would be thrilled to witness it firsthand in its natural environment. But the yellow perch's peak season is winter, I'm afraid. So very afraid of winter's biting chill. Aww. I hope the museum has a lot of heating for Blathers during the winter. He really does deserve it. He were He's one of the hardest working animals ever. I know he sleeps during the day, but he's active during the night, and he's great. Days are shiny little fish that enjoy freshwater streams with gravelly bottoms and plenty of sunlight. What a fishy paradise. Until the larger fish move in and begin eating the days. Sadly, the shiny days are easy for other fish to spot, which makes them a popular snack. However, this particular specimen here has no need to worry. 
This is a straight no eating your neighbor policy at this institution. And there you have it. That's right, because fish are friends, not food. I've learned that from a movie. The freshwater goby is an unassuming specimen, but beneath that calm fish exterior, true gluttony resides. It will eat anything that will fit in its mouth. And its mouth is quite the gaping maw, so I recommend you refrain from drawing attention to yourself. And there you have it. Wait, that's it? That's it? Just talking about his big mouth? Ugh, a moth! What a wretched thing! Alright, please tell me about the moth, though. I see. Many think the moth is strictly a nocturnal creature. Alas, no. These frightful fluttering bees have been known to haunt the daylight and twilight hours, too. Thus, there is no time of day one might escape the moth trait I dislike most of all. Those feathery antennae. The mere thought of them gives my feathers goosebump, and I'm no goose! <laughs> oh my goodness, Blathers. I love him so much. But also, moths are huge jerks. It's like you... You don't really see them until they're just flying around the light. And when you try to get it, they're like flying away so quickly. Those things are fast. And when you do get it, somehow they disappear. Like, into dust. The tiger beetle is extremely fleet of foot, though it runs in a rather peculiar way. That is, it sprints, then stops and sprints again, using these speedy maneuvers to run down its prey. You see, the tiger beetle, like a real tiger, is a powerful predator. The mere thought of it giving chase gives me the willies. Tigers are terrifying at any size. But please, don't be scared of the tigers on the island. I'm sure they'll be friendly, Blathers. But the way that Blathers said it, like, are there actual tigers, not like Tiger Islanders? Are there actual tigers? Oh, he really hates centipedes, doesn't he? I wonder, are there like animals then real animals? I, I have no idea. The centipede's name means 100 legs, but I tell you now, that's a lie. These ugly bugs can have as few as 15 pairs of legs, or as many as 170. Ugh. But because of how their bodies are segmented, they never have exactly 100. Who is true? I counted them all. It was a nightmare. You know what else is true? Centipedes are car not carnivorous, aggressive, and venomous. And their bite is quite painful, too. <laughs> Horrible things I say. Oh, now I really hate them more. Ugh, those creepy crawlies, though. Hmm, I do believe this means. Yes, huzzah, hooray! We have acquired the number of specimens required. My feathers, I am at a loss for words. Never would I have imagined we could reach our donation goal on this, my very first day on the island. Oh, my friends online. The generosity that made this possible, the passion. I am humbled by the spirit of slack off. Now we can submit our application to build a proper museum. Oh, oh my, I must make haste and prepare for the museum opening. There's so much to do, who do you? Thank you so very much, Pixel. Oh, 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 I can still donate, right? Oh, I am not accepting new donations at this time due to the museum construction preparations. That said, I am still quite eager to uncover fossils. So do let me know if you find any. Okay, so I got like two more in my pocket? But good thing though, I had more than enough. The museum is already underway to becoming a full thing. Well, at least he won't get scared of the common butterfly until tomorrow though. I guess I'll put the fish inside. But yeah, it really stinks that my hard drive bugged up right when I met Blathers and he gave me the recipes for the stuff I need, you know, the pole ball and the shovel as well. But good thing I didn't lose much, I really hope so. But man, it stinks when you're recording something and your hard drive just suddenly goes <laughs> Also, I forgot to introduce you to Slim. I made him during the stream. Here's a new custom design. Oh, of course, I also have a custom design. If you have the Nintendo Switch Online app, you can, you can scan QR codes with your phone. This one is called Empty. Can you see the emptiness? But these two are mine, Sleuth and Slim. I love Slim so much. What do I have to unlock now? Dream House. Gotcha, so for upgrading my house, I got one room lo- One room loner? What the hey? Bulletin board benefit. I wrote, I wrote something on somebody else's bulletin board and I got Influencer. I can name myself an animal influencer now. On my passport. Because right now it's animal animal. <laughs> but of course, I also got a garden gnome and a shirt and a hat from Nook Miles. I did buy these. And now whenever I go to sleep here, the gnome can protect me. Or scare me, whichever comes first. 
All right, I also got the quick wheel, which you can get from Nook Miles, and this is awesome. It is really awesome. Wait, hold on a second. Is this new? It is new. It's a snail. Yes, I caught a snail. It's not much to brag. Wait, no pun for the snail? That poor snail, though. Oh, wait. A message in a bottle. The second one I got. Hold on. Where is it, though? Oh, there it is. Here we go. Let's open it. To whoever found this, I was lay re Oh, no, not lay. Please don't say lay relaxing. I was lay relaxing yesterday while reading comics when I thought of this recipe. I'll share it with you since you found this bottle. Show it off once, once you're done. All right, what I... I learned how to make small boxes. Sweet! I got an eight... Oh. Why boxes? Oh! Uh... No, you walk the plank, hey, have. Think you're so smart. Hey, Gulliver, wake up. I uh, don't want to be flat, Sam. Can I be Jet Sam? It just sounds more rugged. Mm hmm. Wake up. D the waves, the waves are ready to pool noodles. Ooh, pool noodles on a pirate ship? A vast storms are coming. Brace yourselves, lads. Mm hmm. Heart to starboard. Tough to port. Stern to stern. You know you can wake up right now, right? Yum, yum, yum. Okay, he doesn't want to wake up, does he? Hmm. Oh, he's awake. Man, Gulliver looks great in HD. Uh, do you do you have my pickled herring pizza? Ew. I already tipped online, so... Wait, I don't see a pizza. Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, hang on. I know that one. I'm none other than Gulliver, a seafaring seagull of the seven seas. Were you the one who kept nudging me just now? Thanks for the wake-up call. Those tasty hallucinations tend to sneak up on me. Can you find it in your heart to forgive this waterlogged bird brain? I'm reading your vacant expression as a yes. Yes! Gaius I dozed off and tumbled overboard again. That's an endearing character trait of mine. My crewmates love it when I slip over the bowl. <laughs> Don't worry. The fellows will be here to rescue me in no time. Got an ace off my wing, you see. A cell phone. I'll just call for help using my handy dandy, uh... Oh, do we need rice? There's water in your phone. Oh my gosh! My handy dandy communicator is broken. This isn't handy or dandy. Oh, sorry, Deans. It's all cracked and busted. Looks like it's missing a few communicator parts, too. That means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. That could take a while. I've only got enough nautical puns to last for a couple of hours. Oh, here them all. I'm begging you here. Will you look for my parts, please? Sure. I love you, Gulliver. Oh, thank you, thank you. Your heart must be almost as big as your head. I don't want to see that happen. My chest will be... Oh, my chest will be huge. The communicator parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. I'm just missing five parts. If you'll find them, I'll try to cram them back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I better stay here and watch for the boat. I'll leave the searching to you. I believe in you, partner. I don't have much of a choice. Oh, Gulliver. Wait, that means I gotta build a shovel. Let's do it! Uh, so you see, since the number of homeowners is increasing, I agree that we need to build a shop. However, when it comes to building supplies, our customers' homes should take priority. I have every confidence that you'll find a way to handle this little puzzle. The two of you have been training under me for how many years now? This should be a piece of cake! Huh. Oh, uh, you shouldn't have heard that. Why, hello though, Pixel. Are you happy with your home? Is it meeting your expectations? I bet you're a lot more comfortable now. Houses are so different from tent, hmm? You can freely change up the flooring and wallpaper. And you've got some built-in storage so you can put away any furniture you aren't using. Oh yes, there's more. All homeowners are automatically registered with the Happy Home Academy. The HHA, as we call it, will evaluate your home on a regular basis and send you helpful advice. They even send rewards to members whose homes achieve high ratings. The evaluations will intrude on your day-to-day -day life. So there's no need to worry, just enjoy the fun. Which brings us to... Your new home loan. That'll be 98,000 bells, please. The, can I pay in miles? Oh, I'm sorry, that was a special offer that only applied to your initial getaway package fees. You'll have to make loan payments with bells now. Ah, but don't worry, you can pay in installments, big or small. Payments can be made using the ABD feature of the Nook Stop. I think that's everything I need to tell you about homes today. But I do have a nice surprise for you. I do hope you're ready for this. It's a premium miles redemption item. A Nook Miles ticket. The Nook Miles ticket? A ticket is a special travel voucher you can only get by redeeming Nook Miles. It's a conundrum, hmm? We want to improve our island, 
but still hold on to that desert deserted island magic. Well, now you can do both. You can use one of these tickets to do some island hopping adventuring. Yes, yes, go anytime you want. Maybe you're looking to meet some new characters or gather materials for DIY projects. Your trip is yours to enjoy in the way you like. I've left your ticket at the counter in the airport, so use them whenever the travel mood strikes. Now then, go enjoy your life in your freshly built home. Wait, so... I can go to islands to meet new villagers to invite over? So is it not random now? It's random when I go there. Alright, but for now... Yeah, that's what I want. I need two cardboard boxes to stack them on each... Really now? To have small cardboard boxes, just stack them on each other. Get a wrench, get a saw, use a lot of sticky glue and you're fine. That's ridiculous. Alright, let's get this shovel made. I made a wooden shovel. And also, what do I need for the pole vault? Oh, softwood. Perfect. Wait, will that break as well? If I get stuck on the other side, I gotta call Rossetti then. Ah, I gotcha now. Oh, wait, hold on. Is there a cardboard box? Aw. I only have one cardboard box. Alright, so how does the pole vault work? Do I just... Oh, I just press in and go. I'm on the other side now. This is awesome. That's a hermit crab right there. I see ya. Oh, man. Look at these rocks. Look at the waves. This is just amazing. I get to explore the rest of the island. But wait, how can I find the parts? Are they easy to find or not? Oh man, but the pole vault is awesome though. I can't believe I'm experienced enough to do that though. Oh wait, with a shovel I can dig those up. Those could be the fossils. Those could be fo- oh. oh, did I just get- I just got weeds, alright. Alright, let's see what's in here. A fo- Whoa, that fossil looks great! That is a fantastic fossil model. I like that. Oh, wait. I can check out the heart pool. There's a heart pool on the other side. Excuse me, fishy. I gotta go check it out right now. Oh, wait. I can't get up there, can I? Not yet. I might need something else for that. Okay, so the heart pool is later. Man. Whoa, there's a lot more spots over here. All right, hold on. Let me use the ring. I gotta get used to the ring. Another fossil. Don't mind if I do. But no, really, the fossil models look amazing, though. Okay, they're just nearby each other. Looks like it might be easier to find fossils here than the other games, that's for sure. Come on, fish, be mine. Hopefully you're a new one. What, what, oh, holy heck, what is that? A football fish. Some countries call it a soccer fish. Oh my goodness, I love that. I really love that, though. That's a creepy one, though, so... Let me just put it in my pocket. Oh wait, will Captain be here? Captain the Kappa. I hope he does show up. So I haven't found any like markings in the ground. Is there like something different? Wait, maybe if I dig here? Oh, so that's why there's water coming out of the sand. That explains a lot. I thought that was just detail, but that was insane! So I just gotta keep looking for those. Oh, but I think I found another one right here. So I need to find three more. I wonder what they're used for. They're just communicator parts. I mean, the phone has water in it. Maybe try to solve that issue first? Is there a recipe to craft rice? I can try to make rice. Hey, did you find them? Yep, got them right here. All five of them. Oh, that's dumb for the wrong phone. Those are definitely my parts. Come here, you little troublemakers. That's so adorable, though. <laughs> All right, the pieces are crammed back in here. Let's see if this thing can send a message. Ahoy there, crew. It's me, your brother from another brother. <laughs> Get it? So listen, it happened again. Can you swing by to pick me up? Send me my coordinates now. Go over, over and out. There, that should do it. That's adorable, though. You're the best. Thanks for all your help. I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in a few days. I'm gonna send you something now. Knock your flippers off. Just make sure you put some flippers on before you open it, okay? Ah, I'm safe. Nothing to do now but pace back and forth for the next few hours. Better get started. Really? Is He's just really forward with it, like... Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna walk back and forth. That's fun, right? So I can also find 
Clams? Interesting. Oh, it can be used as bait. Hey, so I can also find clams underground. Hey, Tommy. Oh, wait a second. What's this all about? I found the money spot. Oh, wait, I shouldn't... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have put bills in there and make a money tree. Oh, well, there's always the next day. And the next day. And the next day. So, you won't take donations, but you'll praise fossils. Who is that true? Why, where might this fossil be now? He is adorable. I love him. I love him so much. Ooh! Indeed, there can be no doubt this is a fossil. Incredible, wonderful, remarkable. My intuition was impeccable. There are fossils on this island. But I digress. Back to the matter at wing. I must assess your fabulous find. Let me see here. Hmm. Indeed. Ah, hoo hoo! Of course, it could be but one thing a mammoth skull. A magnificent specimen indeed. Once we open the museum, do consider donating it. This also applies to the fossil you brought this time, but only a specialist such as myself can appraise a newly discovered fossil to determine its proper designation. From now on, do ple please bring me any fossil of unknown origins you find. Whether or not you choose to donate it is up to you. Either way, I should gladly assess it. Gotcha. I'll let him assess the rest once the museum is fully open. I'm gonna try this method right here where I corner myself. Oh, wait. Wait, what? I did not know that. I did not know that. What other things do I not know? This game amazes me so many times. I can sneak in between tight corners and hop between two holes? Can I marry this game already, please? Oh, I found the money rock. Fantastic. Now I'm gonna get all the bells. This is just perfect. I'm so glad they kept a one-up sound in here. That's just perfect. Football fish, like, look at that. These tanks are amazing, and also I love that I can turn. Wait a minute. Wait, the little angler turns on too. I love that. Hey, Timmy, what's going on? Congrats on your new home. I have something I would like to chat about. If you have a moment, that is. It is a bit of a proposal, so if now's not a good time, I understand completely no pressure. Sure, what is it? Very good, I'll get right to the point. I'm hoping that you might be interested in collaborating on a new venture, building a new shop. After all, our little island community is growing, and our needs are growing too. I love to offer a much wider inventory of goods, but as you can see, I'm a bit limited in here. I've already spoken with our fearless leader, of course, and he agrees that we have a need. Ah, but here's the thing. Building materials are hard to get, so can we set them aside for building a shop? I really don't see it since we'll need those materials for residential projects, but I have an idea. Yes, yes, you could gather up materials from around the island, right? From the trees and rocks? Our environmental review even suggests that there will be zero impact to native flora or fauna. Maybe. Ah, but I'm getting off rack. Off track, I mean. <laughs> We're rack. We'll need a lot of material for a proper shop, and we will, of course, offer compensation for your efforts. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I did the little chest bump. Thank you so much. Now, I know this is a lot, but I put together a list of the items I'd like you to gather. We'll need 30 pieces of each regular wood, hardwood, and softwood, and 30 iron nuggets. I'm not concerned about where these materials come from. They could come from this island or any other. And you can gather these materials at your own pace. Once you have a set of something, come see me. All right, let's start. Wait, I can craft. Oh, I thought that was medicine. That's fish bait. Sure, I'll make some. Maybe I can get better fish this way. I never thought we would ever get bait. I just thought I would fish and that's it. Nope. Time to get some better fish. Oh, wait, I can make the ocarina. Heck yeah, we're making an ocarina. I can play some music. Or try to play some music. All right, let's see. I got some Nook Miles to claim from Nook Miles Plus. I hit five rocks. I get some miles for that. I also completed three DIY projects and got some miles for that. All right, that's good. Anything else? Here we go, rock splitting champ. I hit a single rock eight times in a row. Thank you, money rock. Let's see, bonafide bone finder. Congrats on finding my first fossil. I get discovered fossil. I can become the discovered influencer. That sounds kind of weird, though. For my title, for my passport title. 
Discovered Influencer, Gullible's Travails. Alright, so I helped him out. I gotta help him nine more times to get the next... To get the next one, interesting. And pay dirt. Nice, buried treasure. Oh, buried bells for finding the golden spot in the ground. Man, this knapsack looks fantastic. There are so many things I do want, though. But wait, hairstyles seem really nice. I can go for hairstyles. Maybe I can see if there's any other cool hairstyles I can get. Otherwise, I would have wasted the miles for nothing, but eh, it's better to have options, though. Ah, that's a leaf. Let's see what's going on. Wait a minute, a switch costs 29,980 bells. Now we know the conversion rate. It's almost a dollar. One bell is almost one dollar right there. That is insane. I can buy another, but do I really need to? I don't know. Ah, KK Stroll, maybe I can buy... Maybe I can buy a song, just in case I get a radio or something. And promotion, I can buy myself the Brake Tapper. Oh, I can buy so many things now. Let's see, what else can I get? An OK Motors jacket, that looks good to wear. And I'll get these campers too. Little camper toys to place around. This is adorable. And let me just pay down just a couple. I will go 30,000. Maybe that for a start. If I catch more fish and sell more things, I'll make enough bells in no time. Alright, I want to know one thing. How does the bait work? Do I scatter food? Oh, so that's how you do it. It just brings over a fish. Would a fish like some water? Or can I play the ocarina and make it come over here by playing a bad song? If I can play Toxic by Britney Spears, will it come over? Or can I play Fireworks by Katy Perry? Oh. I got a don't know, not a dab. Not bad. But there's no way I'm dabbing though, no way at all. Present, you're mine. Gotcha, let's see what I got this time from the present fairy. Ooh, a snow globe. That's actually pretty nice. The music combined with just doing this, it's just relaxing. I mean, I've just been fishing, trying to get materials for Timmy inside, and it. I can't wait till the next shop gets open. I mean, I feel like we're advancing so much already. I have done so much on this island, yet I can't wait to see what else I can do. There's just so many possibilities, and I can play this at any time and still be relaxed. I don't know how Nintendo does it, but Animal Crossing always steals my heart every single time. And you know what? I do not mind one bit. I just hope it steals your heart as well. Whether you're playing Animal Crossing or if you're thinking about it, I really hope that these videos, these episodes do help you out in some way. I... or if it's just relaxing to watch or listen, that's good as well. I'm just really happy you're just checking this out. Whether you're interested or not, whether you just want to listen or not, it's all up to you. But still, thank you. Sometimes the best thing to do is just to sit in my chair and just look at the rain. But sometimes I'm scared of the rain, so I close the curtains and enjoy the show. Also, football fish. Look at my new snow globe. Look at this. It's so cute! I love it! Also, the best thing about this is the organization mode that it took from Happy Home Designer, where I can just select multiple things and just move them if I like. It is awesome! I can't believe it. Fixing up your home is so much easier now. Hey, what's going on, my buddy? I love him so much. Hey, 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 welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies. Oh, it's you, good timing. I just got a Nook Mouse ticket from Tom Nook with pixel written on it, which makes it yours. So if you want to use this ticket, hand me your ID. You just got to say the magic words, I want to fly, got it? So, Pixel, you got anything to tell me? 
I want to fly. Roger. I love him. I love him so much. By the way, I got a ticket with your name on it behind the desk here, so use that whenever. So, just to get the paperwork all official, where'd you want to go? I want to visit a friend. Let's go via online play. Gotcha, let me just connect you to the old internet for some online play then. Roger. I love... Oh my goodness, look at him. Look at him typing away. Hey, my friend's online. He is so adorable. He's working hard for me. Oh, there's multiple? Oh, they actually show how many people are there. I'm going to visit my friend Dana. Let's go. Getting ready to depart. Alrighty then, you're all set, and when you need to travel, just think, what would dodos do? They won't fly, so what do they do? So, if I have a bottle of water, you're not gonna check me, right? Oh my goodness, the other dodo! I love these two! Time to fly away! Oh, it's not raining over here! Look at this, I do love the view! That single tent, the no weed... My island is full of weeds, though. We'll be making a water land. Wait, what? Why are there holes in front? Oh my goodness. What a way to welcome me. Oh yeah, Pixel's coming. Let's, let's make holes in front of him. Like they don't know what I can or can't do. I have my own power. And I'm gonna take as much stuff as I can get. <laughs> Wait, why is there nothing over here? Why are the trees bare? Where the heck is everything? Who the heck are you? Where the heck are the fruit? I gotta find some fruit and quick. Vaulting bowl, go! I gotta find some fruit. I need fruit. Where the fruit? I need fruit. Where the fruit? Aha! Oranges! All mine! And now with that, I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> yes! You can't smack me with that net! No, you can't. Ha 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 ha! Nobody can smack me with a net. I'm invincible! Invincible! Ha 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 ha! I love, I love, I love this so much. I just came in and left and one fell so whoop! Hold on, I am curious about one thing, though. If I eat a cherry, I do get energy for that, right? And I was told I can break rocks and do other things. But well, let me try one thing, though. I heard that I can do this to a tr I can do this to a tree. Oh, so I can do these crazy things. I can pick up a tree with a shovel. And that's fine? Either way, I'm gonna plant them and the peach trees, so I can have a lot of fruit. I just love how I have trees in my pocket right now. Not saplings, but full-blown trees in my pocket just by doing this. It's that easy. Oh, oh, you said my name out loud. W what's up, Flip? Hey, I heard you're getting stuff together to build us a shop. Good hustle, Pixel. I found something that might help things along. Here you go. Oh, wait. Oh, you get me? That's so nice, though. I was gonna make those iron nuggets into some free weights, but having a shop sounds way cooler. The faster we get a shop, the faster I can just buy free weights. Go, team, slack off a rack. Aww. They're not going to be free. Hey, kidders, decided to come in out of the rain, huh? Good call. Oh, yeah, I heard you were getting stuff together for a shop. That's right. Ah, I knew it. Well, thanks for doing your part for Slack Off. Oh, I got an idea. If they got you gathering stuff for a shop, you might want this. Is it more nuggets or... Aww. You made a shovel for me. It's called Pretty Good Tools Recipe. So far, everything I feel from there has been super sturdy. Anyway, if you dig that shovel, go get that collection. You'll be buried in shovels in no time, kidder. Oh, thank you. Wait, there's a difference. I got a flimsy shovel, but... This is a... I just got a regular shovel! No way! Thank you so much, Pashmina! Oh, this one's a big one! What the heck is that? Yes, I caught an olive flounder. That's not the... That thing is huge! Ooh, wonder what this one could be? It's a boot. It, uh, wasn't made for swimming. <laughs> 
I could probably wear these if I find another boot. Wait, really another DIY recipe? That is so cool. Finally, garbage is useful. Ooh, look at that, fruit roots. I guess I claim two so far. All right, total freshman. And what else did I get? Plucky star. For doing what exactly? Let's see, if you plant new varieties. Oh, because I planted peaches and oranges. Luckily, I found some oranges. <laughs> Whoa, holy heck, you can clearly see his phone is broken. Now that's some detail right there. It says they read my message. I bet they're just busy planning my return celebration. Writing my name on a big banner, breaking out the good soda. Wait, the good soda? What's the good soda? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. I did not realize how many weeds I have on my island. It is insanely high. And when they grow to such a big size, it is very much noticeable. The island must look clean. And I know the weeds are useful this time, but man, do I have so many. And they just keep growing every single day. Man, weeds are crazy annoying or helpful. And there's so much on the other side. This is gonna take a long while to clean. Greedy weeder, I've been pulling a lot of weeds. Only 95 so far? Only 95 weeds. Holy heck, how many do I need to pull to get them all? Oh man, this one feels rough. Whoa! Whoa! What the heck is that? Yes, I caught an oarfish. I hope I catch more fish. Ew! That thing looks terrifying. Like, can I... Oh. Oh. Why did I put it in my pocket? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That looked disturbing as heck. What does it look like outside? Oh, it has a, it's too big for a tank. It needs a freaking pool. Ooh, a present just for me. Man, I'm getting good at this slingshot business. Let's see what I got this time. Whoa, some new boots. And in my size. Nice, somebody was thinking about me. Wait, who was thinking about me to send a present like this? Whoever the creep is, name yourself. I'm scared, but also I'm thankful. I'm thankfully scared. Right now we're asking residents for the help in donating the materials we need to build a shop. Well, I like to donate. Oh, you'll make a donation? Thank you so much. Right now you have some softwood, wood, and hardwood. Yup, I got 30 of each. Take them all. Thank you so much. We only need one last bit to reach our donation goals for building a shop. To thank you, let me offer you a purple quilt wall, a pendulum clock, and some cat grass. Cat grass? I guess I got cat grass. We love your cooperation in donating the last type of material we need. Cat grass? So let's see. Can I actually just place it on the wall? And I can just move it anywhere I want? That is crazy. I love this purple quilt wall. Ooh, that looks pretty nice. I like it. Oh, let's see. I got some more Nook Miles. Rough hewn. Island development is Nook Inc.'s goal. Oh, how many wood I chopped from trees? 156 now. I'm an aggressive problem solver. Is that right? Hoard reward. So a number of indoor furniture items will get me this. It's 16 now. Woo, 1,000 miles. Nice. And it's raining treasure for popping those balloons. I got five and I got the easy breezy slingshot ace. That's definitely easy breezy right there.